YouTube, we back with another video. It's your boy LSP Wavy. Hey, today we gonna check out this clay and lay method, okay? I got some old videos doing it. I, I really never been a fan of it, okay? I used to do it, you know, once every two, three months. I just didn't like the mess that it made and the, the long process of rinsing it out and how long it took. I see a lot of waivers now. They're doing the clan lay method, all right? So shout out to them. They got me back on the clan lay train, all right? So I'm gonna try to do it. I'm gonna see if I can get some results from it, see if it still works for me. You know, sometimes methods, they don't agree with your hair after so long. So we are gonna see what this clan lay do 2021. Let's go. Alright, a basic clan lay, man. We ain't gonna add all the extra ingredients and stuff, just the basic stuff. Alright, you need the Aztec clay. Alright, this is the clay. So this is what I got left over from a couple years ago. Or I, I wanna say I did this like nine months ago to a year, something like that. So that's the clay. We're gonna get some clay and add it to our glass bowl, okay? When you mix in the clan lay, they say this is a detoxification method. I right? detoxifies your hair, so you don't want to use any instruments that are going to add anything to your hair or mess up this process. So, we want to use a plastic or glass bowl. Um, I believe you can use a wooden bowl too if you got one. You don't want to use no metal or nothing like that. We got a plastic spoon. We don't want to use no metal spoon. We got our applicator brush. This is what we're gonna use to apply the clay to our hair, right? Once we get the clay in the bowl, then we're gonna mix some with the apple cider vinegar, all right? You, you wanna get an apple cider vinegar that says with mother, okay? So you know that it's all organic and it's gonna give you the best results, all right? Then you wanna get some oil, okay? It doesn't matter what type of oil. This is the oil that I'm using today. It's Regal 7 from my Fluffy Puffs, all right? So we're gonna mix all that stuff in. We're gonna get it to like pancake batter uh, consistency. We don't want it too soupy. We don't want it too thick. And then we got a brush, nice, hard, firm brush that we're gonna brush our pattern in with the clay in our hair. And of course, you're gonna need a, a do-rag to rinse it out, all right? So the way I do it, I get a mesh rag and I rinse it off just like a washing style. I rinse it off with the rag on, all right? Some people like to just rinse it off with no rag. Hey, teaches his own. I don't think you're gonna get the same type of lay that you would with a do-rag, um, a double compress. I'm gonna use a stocking cap on top of this. And let's get busy, man. Let's start mixing it, all right? So you can see it's still thick. I basically added about a, uh, a cap full. So you don't, you want to add a little bit at a time. Because if you add too much, it's going to be soupy. And you're going to have to add more clay. Then you're going to start wasting it. All right. So I want it thinner than this. Just a little bit at a time. Take your time. Pancake batter consistency. Not too thick, not too thin, not too soupy. All right, so that's decent right there. And we're gonna get the oil. Again, we're using the Regal 7 growth oil. All right, you don't have to use this. You can use whatever type of oil you want, but this is what we're doing. We're just gonna put some oil in it. Generous amount. Mix that in with it. See the consistency of it. 
know, it's all the suds die down from the from the vinegar. This is actually one of my best mixtures that I've done. This is perfect, all right? All right, when you're doing a clean lay, you wanna make sure your hair is clean first, okay? So you could do a little scramble wash, you wanna do a washing style, whatever, you wanna make sure your hair, hair is clean first. Do it the day before, right before the clean lay, either way. To me, personally, it's easier doing it, doing a clean lay right after you wash, because you need your hair to be wet anyway, okay? Your hair needs to be wet before you put the clay on it. If you put that clay on some dry hair, you're gonna have a problem, okay? You're gonna have an issue. It's not gonna come out, so do a little quick little wash and then get to applying the clay, all right? So it's wet, I'm gonna throw a little shampoo in it, do a quick little uh, scramble wash. I'm gonna start brushing my pattern in with my detangler brush, then I'm gonna get into the clay, all right? Got a decent little wash, scrabble wash. Got any dirt out, my hair wasn't really dirty. You see that the, the, the lather lathered up pretty good on the first wash. So now I'm gonna take my detangler brush, I'm gonna brush my pattern in the way I want it to be. Get my mirror, start from the crown, work my way around. brush my pattern and the way it needs to be is still real curly because I got high porosity this is what happens when I put water in my hair it over curls all right nevertheless I got the clay mix it's all ready to go yo you about ready to go man we trying to go out get some drinks and stuff man what you what what you gonna do I'm, I'm listen I'm trying to make a video man all right give me just give me about 10 15 minutes I'll be with you Man, you doing way too much. It don't take all of that, man. Tell them people just to brush and that's it. You you in here mixing clay like you making a meal and stuff, man. Come on, man. Let's go. It's time to go. Don't listen. Don't come in here talking about I'm doing too much. I'm trying to get my hair healthy. I'm teaching people how to get waves. You worried about the wrong thing. Don't nobody care about your little YouTube, man. You, I swear, ever since you made the first video, you just act like you just God Almighty. You making videos like you saving lives and stuff, man. Nobody cares, okay? You don't even got no subscribers like that. Like, like you really need to chill. You know what? Fine, just forget it. Thank you. Sorry about the interruption. You can you can take take it and, and add a little bit with your applicator brush how you want to. I just try to dump some in and then spread it uh, spread it around my pattern as I see fit. Some people like to use their hands if they don't have an applicator brush. It's up to you, man. You know, to each is his own. Whatever works best for you, as long as you're not using any metal uh, products to apply it and ruin the, ruining the actual detoxification steps of it. So I try not to make that much clay because you don't wanna have none really left over like that unless you're going, you can add it to your face, you know, then make a little bit extra. So if this is not enough to cover my entire head, I'll make up a little bit more and finish it up. Now, when you're doing the clay, I would suggest staying away from your crown. Just work around it. Now, obviously, you want to add some to your crown, but you want to get the, the, the exterior, you know, areas around it situated first. And then you can add some in there because 
If you lose your crown in this clay, you're not gonna find it no more. You know now, we lose our crown sometime in the soap suds or the lather, whatever you wanna call it. You can just do a quick rinse or spray a little water and you can find it. But once you, once you lose it in the clay, it's gone forever. Take your time, it can get messy. The first time you do it, you're gonna make a mess. I'm gonna give you some tips to the clan lay uh, when I finish putting this in on how to, how to clean up, how to keep it clean, how to keep your bathroom clean and stuff like that. All right, we basically use all the clay, all right? So it was a pretty good mixture, if you go back, I'm gonna say this is one of the best mixes that I've made. So you can probably go back and rewatch this video when it's time for you to try it. I think I did like two or three scoops here and there, but I got a good mix going, all right? Another thing you wanna do, you wanna get you a spray bottle, all right? You can get a regular squirt bottle or you can get a, a, a Flarisol bottle just to keep it moist, all right? Pause. You don't want the clay to get dry. All right, it's different when you're doing like a clay mask on your face and stuff. You want it to get hard and then you wash it off, peel it off and all that stuff. But you don't want this to get hard because the, if it starts to dry, it's gonna be harder to rinse it out. All right, so you wanna keep it moist as possible, all right? Then you get your brush and you brush your pattern just like you normally would. Just like that. Now this is the messy part, okay? This shit is gonna be splashing everywhere. So here's, here goes a suggestion, all right? For the kids watching, you know, I don't want you to mess up your mom's bathroom or nothing like that. If you got some plastic bags, uh, grocery bags, or an old sheet or something, put it over the sink to catch any of this clay that's gonna, you know, be brushed out and sprayed around the bathroom. So you wanna cover up your stuff so you don't have to clean up that much. If you got some Clorox wipes or wet wipes or something like that, that's make that's real good to clean it up when it's time to clean up after. But if you cover up your sink and stuff first, it's gonna be less to clean up. All right, this is a major key right here for the clean lake because you can see my mirror. I got the stuff all on the mirror. It's, it's splashing everywhere. I didn't cover up the sink but I'm gonna I'm I'm clean the bathroom up real good when I finish anyway. But let's get into this session. All right, after your session is done, you wanna rag up just like you normally would. You want to spray some oil on it, but you want to make sure all your areas are down, just like, just like with a washing style. Okay, so <clears throat> my pattern is down. You want to get you a washcloth, or whatever, wipe your face or whatever, or do it in the shower. Here's the tricky part: is rinsing this stuff out. I, you don't want to let it get hard. Okay, don't let it get hard. Pause. That just sounds. It sounds horrible, but you don't want the clay to dry, all right? Let me say that. You don't want the clay to dry in your hair because it's gonna be harder to get it out, all right? So don't sit up here brushing for an hour with the clay in your hair unless you're constantly spraying it down with some water to keep it moist, okay? When it's time to rinse it out, first time you're gonna have clay in your hair, okay? You're not gonna get all the clay out. Everybody messes up on the first try. You will too, okay? But I'm gonna tell you the easiest way to do it, get you a mesh rag, okay? Get a mesh rag, and I'm gonna show you how I do it right now. I put the mesh rag on with a little bit extra in the front, okay? Stocking cap, I put the stocking cap on top. All right, just like that. This is how I'm gonna get in the shower, okay? I'm not gonna tie it up or nothing. I'm getting a shower just like this. 
I'm gonna keep the do-rag on. I'm gonna get up under some high pressure water, okay? Don't think like a washing style some of y'all do. You're not rinsing this out in the sink, okay? So don't even try to dunk your head under the sink and think you're gonna get all this clay out. You gotta get your ass in the shower, okay? You got to get some high pressure water on it. It is not like a washing style where you want to rinse with cool water. You want to rinse with just like you washing your butt, your body, and everything else. Some warm to hot water to get this clay out of your hair. So plan on taking a shower after this clay and lay, okay? Get in there. If you got the, cord, the, the handle on your shower head, use that. If not, just sit under the shower head and just keep pulling the sides up, okay? So when you're standing under the water, you want to lift the sides up, get this clay out. You're looking down at the water, you're gonna keep rinsing until the water is clear on this side. Then you're gonna move it around. Get this side right here. Let the water trickle down from where you're holding this out. And keep going all around your head. It's gonna take you at least 20 minutes, okay? Rinse your head for at least 20 minutes until you see crystal clear water, okay? I know some of y'all are gonna get in the shower and the water ain't gonna be clear for about an hour just because y'all not practicing good hygiene and getting in there daily, okay? But stay in there until the water is clear, okay? That's a whole nother topic about how y'all bathing out there. That's, that's neither here nor there, okay? But that's the tips, man. Put your do-rag on, meshy boy like this, stocking cap on top, pull the side out, rinse, work your way around, all the way around, all the way around until it's clear. And while you're in the shower, once the water gets clear, tie your do-rag up. Just lift it up while you're in there and tie it up like this. Tie, tie it as tight as possible. Once you get out, if you need to fix it or something, then you can do that. But tie it up while you're in there. And then don't take your do-rag off just like a washing style until it's completely dry. And that's it. That's the clay and lay method. So I'm gonna hop in this shower. Y'all perverts won't get to see that part of the video. Okay, and I'm gonna come back with the results. Dope gang gravy, rap gang pieces, but the dope gang gravy, rap gang pieces, but the dope gang gravy, rap gang pieces, but the dope gang gravy.